in the last one and a half years, I've gained about 35 pounds, going from 171 to my current body weight of 205. I put on a lot of muscle and definitely gained a lot of fat as well. I'm glad, happy even, that I put on fat. Every time I get really heavy, I'm reminded of all the incredible benefits, and I wanna show you how being a little chunky is a thousand times better than staying lean. Bodybuilding culture and many of these juice heads have gotten people to believe that they should be looking lean all the time. I have a decent amount of muscle, more than the average lifter, and when I got really lean, I disappeared inside of a t-shirt. I didn't even look like I lifted, I just looked like an athlete. When I took the shirt off, it was a different story, but the sad reality is we can't be shirtless 24-7. The guys you see in the gym that are very, very big and also lean are usually on steroids or they have really good genetics. And don't forget lighting and angles. You don't wanna be Instagram big. You wanna be real life big. Any lifter can pose in good lighting and make himself look huge. But you know what's really special? Meeting someone in completely normal circumstances with a shirt on and thinking, God damn, he's big. The way you actually get big as a natty is by building a crap ton of muscle over the years and having a layer of fat on top of it to further enhance your size. Most of you aren't lifting for the pure aesthetics, you know, to see the separation in your lower serratus. You probably just wanna be big as fuck and strong. There's so much stigma around this word fat. People think I mean this. When I say fat, I mean fat for the fitness industry. You spend too much time on Instagram, don't lie to me. In the real world, if you wanna look good, if you have a lot of muscle already, putting more fat on will only make you look better. I think I'm representative of most people in the gym. When I started, I just wanted to fill out a t-shirt, look like I lift, but right now, in essence, I just wanna be a big person and also strong. If you wanna to get to 220, 230, and still be like 10% body fat, for most of you, that's a pipe dream, but you still can get to that weight. You just have to be a little bit of a higher body fat percentage. But here's the thing, it still looks really, really good. I get so many more compliments now, people telling me I'm bigger. When you put on weight, the average person can't tell whether it's muscle or fat. They just see that your frame is getting bigger and more impressive. Every 10 pounds I put on, I get more and more people complimenting my size. Right now at 205, I'm fat for the fitness industry, but for day-to-day -day life, I'm lean as fuck. I've got a hint of abs, shit ton of muscle. I just feel good about myself. I feel like a big boy. Especially if you've developed your frame over the years, working big muscles like the back, the shoulders, the legs, you will look good no matter what, as long as you don't get too fat. The more muscle you put on, the higher body fat you can be and still look good. A newbie who starts off at 18% probably won't look very great. They'll have that skinny fat look. But if you get to that same body fat percentage after 10 years of lifting, all of a sudden you look incredible because the extra fat is enhancing your frame. The convenient thing about getting fat and a little bit chunky is that it's probably inevitable if you wanna look good. Even if you only care about aesthetics, to build the most muscle possible, you're still gonna have to gain weight and bulk. It's just a happy coincidence that gaining all this weight makes you look really good. A calorie surplus builds the most amount of muscle. If you allow yourself to gain weight over a period of years and do that again and again, you will build more muscle than the guy who stays lean year round or even the guy who bulks too little. You'll get more jacked because you're spending more time in a calorie surplus. I saw a video from Bald Omni Man where he said something along the lines of, I only cut so I can make room for more bulking in the future. And I completely agree. I'm not saying you shouldn't get lean if you want to. Just one and a half years ago, I was shredded, fucking diced, and I plan on getting lean again. I'm just saying that probably the majority of your time should be spent bulking and above 15% body fat if you wanna maximize your look and your muscle gain. Being heavier is better for strength as well. Most of you guys aren't competitive power lifters. You just like to lift weights and be strong in the gym. There's no weight classes in the gym. Why not take advantage of being slightly fatter in order to increase your strength? There's no weight classes. Would I rather deadlift 500 pounds at 190 or 600 at 210? I don't care about my body weight. I just wanna deadlift 600 pounds. So I think I've demonstrated the benefits of being heavy, thick, solid, tight, but how heavy do you need to be? So I've done some premium analysis on the topic and I figured out a range. Basically, we need to look at BMI. Voila. All you need to do is match your height on the side with your weight on the top. If you can get into the yellow zone here at about 15% body fat, then you are officially a big boy. Your physique exemplifies what I'm talking about in this video. Let me use myself as an example. I'm five foot 11, I weigh about 205 at 15% body fat, give or take, which will put me right here. Now, if over the next five years I could put on a lot of muscle, maybe I get to 220 at 15% body fat. That will put me in the orange. 
Now that's fucking jack. That's a really good long-term goal for me. 15% body fat in the green is good. You're getting there, putting on muscle. 15% in yellow is big boy status. And 15% in orange is a very, very elite natural physique. Remember, this is just a general guideline and a goal to aim for. Don't be all neurotic about this shit. Just lift weights, build muscle, have fun.